and Mike and Joan Campbell. They're here from Fredericton, sitting up here with Kent Oaks at Red Shore Summerside, enjoying the races here tonight as they move in behind the Noonan Petroleum starting gate for race number nine, Atlantic Sire Stakes, two-year-old Colts, A Division. Back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron. Montrose Hope, Woodmere Pulse, Dusty Lane Cortez, Fern Hill Dynamic, Red Dirt Boomer, Dusty Lane Daytona, feeling haggard. Ninth race, A Division of the two-year-old Colt Pacers. Atlantic Sired, top of the stretch. Here they come. There they go. They're off and pacing. Fern Hill Dynamic leaving Woodmere Bolt towards the rail right with them. Then into the turn from third. That's Red Dirt Boomer. On the rail fourth is Montrose Hope. Dropping in fifth is Dusty Lane Cortez. Then six up the rail is Dusty Lane Daytona, the early trailer. Feeling haggard. So the Colts go to the corner. And Earl Smith puts Woodmere Bolt. Right on the engine, the quarter pole leading. Second at the rail is Fern Hill Dynamic. All alone in third, Red Dirt Boomer, the quarter mile. It's up in 29 and three. Racing fourth is Montrose Hope. Dusty Lane Cortez fifth. Then in sixth, it's Dusty Lane Daytona. And the trailer seventh. Feeling haggard, down the stretch they come. The opening half mile, the next station. Woodmere Bolt will be that midway point leader for the veteran Smith in the two-hall Fern Hill Dynamic. Here comes Dusty Lane Cortez rushing up on the outside. Now third, the half mile in 101. And a one fifth racing fourth on the rail, Red Dirt Boomer. Here comes Dusty Lane Daytona, moving fifth on the outside. Feeling haggard underway now, six. The trailer, Montrose Hope. Three quarters coming up next, and Woodmere Bolt by two lengths with a quarter of a mile to go. Fern Hill Dynamic second, Dusty Lane Cortez hanging on the outside third, one. 31 and 4 was three quarters. They're down to an eighth of a mile to go. Woodmere Bolt turning for home the leader. Fern Hill Dynamic second. Dusty Lane Cortez. Red Dirt Boomer up the inside. Deep stretch now. And it's Woodmere Bolt all the way in the Shire Stakes for Earl Smith. Red Dirt Boomer rallies up the passing lane to be second. Fern Hill Dynamic third. 201 flat. There's a look at the replay for race number nine, Atlantic Sire Stakes, two-year-old Colts, A division, purse tonight, $12,680. And as I said in the pre-race, Earl Smith certainly knows how to win big stake races, and that was a big one tonight. Woodmere Bolt gets his second in a row from his second lifetime start, and a new record, 201 flat. Woodmere Bolt, owned by Peter Smith, Gerald Morrissey, and Arnold Hagen, trained and driven by Earl Smith. Jill Barrio and Red Dirt Boomer get up for second, and Fern Hill Dynamic hangs on for third. Unofficially 2-5-4 here in the ninth.
Here's another great size, good gated, malicious colt in the ninth race going to the winner's circle number two, Woodmere Bolt. Pacing Brown Gelding, he's two by Malicious from the Rock and Roll Hanover Dam, for all we know. Owned by Peter Smith, Gerald Morrissey, and Arnold Hagen. Earl Smith, training and driving, put the Colt on top at every call. Pacing to a new race win record of 201. Woodmere Bolt in the Atlantic Sire Stakes for two-year-old Colt Pacers at Summerside. 